my cigarette. Uh, <laughs> um, the Marcus obviously gets out there for the first time tonight. Um, you and him had this embrace in the end of the third quarter buzzer. I think he made a couple good defensive plays and you guys kind of met each other going to the sideline. What, what was that moment? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been so neat having DeMarcus around uh, and, and kind of reconnecting with him, you know, player coach. Um, and, you know, you could tell he was pressing in that in that first half a little bit. Um, and I thought in that third quarter, and I really challenged the guys at halftime, I got on them. You know, I felt that first half defense was non-existent. Um, so I jumped them pretty good. And, and, and the only quarter we played any defense was the third. Uh, I think we held them to 16 points, 30% from the field. Uh, and that group that was in there to close, you know, I thought DeMarcus had some great defensive possessions, rebounded in traffic, uh, and just making you know, making good plays, helping us win a game. Uh, and, and I think it was special for us just because we know each other, but I also know what he's been through. I mean, like this this guy, after playing really well in Milwaukee, was just sitting at home waiting for his phone to ring. That's crazy to me. I don't know if people are scared of him or what, but I'm not scared of him. Um, I love him. And, you know, he went in and, and, and played Played good basketball tonight, and he's only going to get better as he gets more and more comfortable and kind of shakes that rust off. So, um, yeah, I, I was happy for DeMarcus to be back playing an NBA game, which is where he needs to be. Yeah, you know what's funny about that? People in Sacramento used to laugh about that. Like, you know, I got cuz, I calmed him down. And he, was, he was out there trying to protect me at times which was flipping the script. Um, so we were just laughing about that. You know, um, you know, he's like, coach, man, I got to calm you down. Uh, but yeah, he, he's, uh, I'm happy he's here. I think the guys are happy he's here. You know, this was not a pretty win, you know, but you know what, four and two in this homestand, Mike, uh, we'll take that, especially as we head out on the road uh, for a really long road trip. Um, we did enough to win, you know, and, uh, you know, sometimes it's not pretty, but uh, hopefully we can find a way to be better in two days back in their gym. Uh, which will need to be. Yeah, it was great to see because, you know, let's be honest, that's been, you know, uh, it hasn't been something we've been able to count on every night. You know what I mean? So um, the, the fact that we had, you know, uh, you know, Faku and Bryn and Zeke, I think Zeke played really well. Uh, you know, DeMarcus and, you know, one of the starters in there, or even D. Reed, uh, those guys, and that's what they need to do, man. Like, that group, it can't be all about is my shot going. You know, that, that's going to come and go. That group has to be, you know, we're going to be gritty. We're going to be dirty, nasty, get stops, play with pace, and get out and run. And, and I think we had examples of that. Uh, but we just didn't do it long enough. I mean, going into tonight's game, we had the 30th-ranked defense in the last three games. Uh, tonight's defense is not going to help that number giving up 111 on 56 from the field. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll take the win, but obviously we're not satisfied in a lot of things that we can clean up. Coach, it seems like there was a few mess ups towards the end of the game, um, defensive coverage wise. How, how nice is it to have a guy like this Paul Wallace who you can continue to go through and on maybe his, his worst night of the past six games still get this 30 point line? Well, yeah, I mean, anybody you know, would love to coach an MVP and a guy who has proven to be uh, the most clutch player in the league the last few years. So uh, when things are tight and you, you know you can go to your best player and he's going to score, he's going to get fouled, or he's going to swing the ball and give you a wide open three. I thought Austin Rivers had a really good game tonight. He had a big three in the corner right in front of their bench. Um, you know, so yeah, that, that is a luxury to have a player like Nicola. To your point down the stretch, uh, we have a lead. And the one thing you don't want to give up is threes. And we gave up too many threes. And then they went to the Corey Joseph pick and roll, and he was just getting downhill and beating us with twos. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a game of adjustments, switching up matchups, putting different guys. We were up at the level, which opens up the three-point line. We were down the floor, which opens up the mid-range too. And it's a, it's a balancing act. And again, um, we were good enough to win tonight, but we weren't good enough to be the team that we want to be. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's a tough cat. He's not going to back down. He's physical. He's going to work hard. He's going to rebound. Um, you know, we get your Michael Green back. That's another guy. 
uh, that, that is going to go out there and, and make you uh, feel them for every minute they're on the court. Uh, you know, Faku plays with a great pace, toughness. Um, D. Reed came in the game, banged two threes. Uh, so, you know, we, we used everybody tonight that was available. Uh, but th that's the identity that group needs. You know, they, they got to have that toughness. Um, and then you, you're just not going to come out and run your offense and be all pretty. You know, we, we have to disrupt that, be physical. And uh, if they can do that, they're going to help our team a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I need to go to everybody. I mean, from the cola all the way down to, you know, uh, whether it's D. Reed or Marcus Howard are two way players. And uh, yeah, so uh, Austin and I met for a while yesterday, you know, just talking about, you know, last game he was a DNP. The game before that, he didn't play in the second half. Uh, that was his first game back, coming back from uh, being out ill for, I think, two games. Um, and just kind of talking to him, you know, letting him know that I haven't forgotten about him. Um, and, and I want to make sure that they may not like the message, but the message has to be delivered. We have to be on the same page. There has to be communication because without that communication, uh, what fills that void is negativity. And, and I don't want that. You know, I don't want that. You know, and, and Austin knows this. He even said it like, I can't keep 17 guys happy. I, I'm, and that's not my job. I'm not trying to keep anybody happy. My whole job is to try to win games. And when I make decisions, it's based on what I think is going to give us the best chance to win. And so we had a really good conversation. Austin's a pro. Um, and you go from not playing, and then we have all these injuries, uh, to starting and playing and helping us win a game. And that speaks to his maturity and, and being a pro and staying ready. Well, I mean, it speaks to uh, just being selfless. You know, it's never about any individual. Uh, I think our MVP is uh, the embodiment of that. And everybody else kind of falls in line. And, you know, Will got in foul trouble in that first half, didn't play many minutes. So sometimes you come out in the second half, so I'm going to try to get mine now. And you look at Will's line, 14 points, five assists, six rebounds, um, you know, one steal. So you can impact the game in a lot of ways without scoring and shooting. Uh, and I think Will's shown that in his eight years here, seven with me, that, you know, he's been asked to wear many different hats. And whatever is needed for the team to win, he's willing to do that. And, uh, and that's what's great about Will Barton. So, um, you know, this was a team win, and uh, we'll, we'll take it. And I just want to say uh, thanks for wearing that sweater, Harrison. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs>